guys today we're gonna do a, another behind the scenes newborn session this time we have a toddler sibling um, so it makes it very different so I'm gonna go through my process of how we go about that start out the session the same way when there's a toddler I have the mom feed the baby while I'm there instead of before because that gives me an opportunity to play with the toddler and make them feel a little bit more comfortable like in this case we had Ollie playing on the crib and we were doing some fun stuff before you want the baby to be completely asleep when you attempt to do a sibling portrait because then you don't have to worry about um, getting eye contact from two kids. Um, in this portrait, I just want to give you an example of what it's like with a five-year-old. Um, it's pretty easy because they can listen to direction and control their bodies. Um, when there is an older sibling, a younger sibling, and a baby, it can be easy too because the older sibling is um, acting as an example for the younger one. But when there's only one, one or two or three year old sibling, it's a lot harder for them to understand what's happening and to control their bodies. Um, so you wanna really be open-minded. Um, I tried the hug pose in the very beginning, um, but like in this case, it didn't really work. But we get something super fun like this, so you wanna just keep shooting. And this is probably way <laughs> uh, much more of a favorite than any pose picture you could get. I'm not above bribing a child either, as long as it's okay with the parents once they're ready to try again um, I try and do something a little bit more fun like lay them next to each other instead of on top of each other and I ask him um, where's the baby's nose or um, do you want to smell the baby to get them to like cuddle up to them and nuzzle you just want to keep shooting and make sure that you um, have your settings correct and that you're in continuous shooting mode before you start because when you do get the opportunity, you need to be completely ready because it's only going to be for a very, very split second. After we get the sibling photos, I let the toddler go take a nap or go play and give them a break. And then I work on the baby's portraits. Um, at this session, we really wanted to recreate an image that we did at Ollie's photo shoot when he was a newborn. And if you watched the vlog of the session you'll be able to see the footage of when we took these it's linked below if you haven't seen it um, what we did is we took a couple different pictures and merged them together so this is a picture of Brian holding the baby's head after we got them posed and then we took another with his um, head supported underneath and actually there's a third one involved in this process and that's just an, another one with a better um, a better hat position so what I do is I flip back and forth between the two that I'm working on and I would make a selection of the part that I want to replace in the other photo and I just copy and paste it on top. Then I reduce the opacity just to make sure I've got it lined up correctly on the eye line. Once that's done, I flip back to my brush and I use a layer mask and a brush with soft edges to go ahead and just blend that right on. Um, when I was taking the images, I didn't change my settings or change my position at all where I was sitting, so no lighting conditions change. That's really important because you don't wanna have to worry about um, the part you're pacing on being too dark or too light. Once I got that image fixed, I replaced the top of the hat. And then the same thing, I used the layer mask and a, a soft edged brush to blend that on top. Then what I did is I just, um, just cleaned it up a little bit, removed the spot of the hat from the last image. After I cropped it, I replicated the right side onto the left side, just to make it look more even. And I've never taken a Photoshop class. I'm self-taught, so I'm sure there's probably someone watching that feels there's a better way to do this. But this is just the way I do it. Um, it works for me. Once I get the background the way that I want it to be, what I do is I zoom in and um, work on the baby's skin. Finley has great skin. I just There was a couple spots of dry skin and a little bit of scratching that I wanted to remove anything that is going to be gone in a day or two you definitely get rid of that I also like to remove some of the redness babies tend to be pretty pink on camera and then I I smooth the skin just a tiny tiny bit you want them to look 
in the image as they do in real life. And sometimes digital cameras make things just a little too sharp for my liking, so I just like to soften the skin a teeny tiny bit, not always. And then I will just sharpen the eye line and the lips. And then brighten it a tad as much as I can without losing any of the details and the highlights. And then I try and clean up anything else that I might feel is distracting. And then we have our final image. And then that was just another version of what we did. He was really asleep at that point, so what I did was just I laid him on his side to get a little bit more variety. He really looked like he was about to smile, so I had Brian talking to him and soothing him. And then he started singing to him, and it was just the sweetest thing ever. So I wanted, I thought I would share some of that with you. And this little heart, it sees the good in everybody. And all I can think about is how I can live without you. Time is fun <laughs> in this nursery room where I see. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we didn't get our smile, but it was just the sweetest little moment, and we got some really great images after that. It's a really good idea to use one pose and shoot from different angles and different lenses so you don't have to wake the baby. I used this time to get some macro images, too. After that, we had Missy come back in and do some um, of just her and Finn. And then I used the window light to get a bunch of, of the extended family images. I love natural light. You won't see me using artificial light. It's just not my thing. This was one of my favorites. I just really loved um, the highlights and the low um, shadows that were just that just came from the window. And it was a really fast edit, so I just wanted to show you, um, just in contrast to the long one, all I had to do here was brighten it and click a preset that I've created for my black and whites. And that's all I did to this image. When you get your lighting right, you really don't have to do anything. And then I usually end the session um, on the bed with the family and bring the toddler back in after they've had a break. Play peekaboo and we tickle and um, we just have a good time. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but I really hope that was helpful in showing you my workflow. Um, if you have any questions, um, just leave it in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, friends.